Again, I'm Rob Underwood, and I'm the Senior Support Engineer for Aquafabis. And what we've seen is that many publishers are very interested in entering into the digital publishing arena. Um, however, a lot of publishers believe they simply don't have the time or the staff to enter into an additional publishing workflow. And that is why we at Aquafabis have developed many different entry points into digital publishing. In this webinar, I'd like to show you how we can convert a print publication to digital in 15 minutes. And I'm going to show you two different ways you can do it using the Aquafatis tool sets. First, I'll show you our cloud authoring approach. And then I'll show you a similar approach using our InDesign plugins. So if you haven't heard about cloud authoring, uh, let's go over to cloud authoring. Uh, cloud authoring is our browser-based approach to digital publishing. The first and easiest way to enter into our digital publishing system is by using our cloud authoring tool set. This solution lets you create digital documents for your apps in the quickest, most cost-effective manner. The Aquafatis cloud authoring tool lets you automatically convert PDF, JPEG, PNG, or TIFF files into AVE files, which are for apps, EPUBs, or even web reader files. All of this work is done from right within a browser window without using InDesign. It's a content creation tool that can replace the need for the InDesign plugin. This solution supports features such as live hyperlinks and interactive TOC, um, our copyrighted guided reading, movies, slideshows, much, much more. Uh, just to start you off, this is Cloud Authoring, and the web address is just cloudauthoring.com. And we're just going to add uh, a PDF. We're going to upload a PDF and turn this actually into content that we could use within an app, within an app for uh, the iTunes Store, the Google Play Store, the Amazon Store. To give you a little background on how I set up this PDF before I'm going to upload it here, you should know that before I made the PDF, uh, I did a little extra work in InDesign now. It should be noted that you don't need to do this additional work, that all of this work can be done right within cloud authoring. However, if you do have the InDesign document and you, know, you don't just have a PDF, there are a few extra things you can do to make it even an easier workflow. So I'm also going to show that. So the first thing is, here in InDesign what I did is I actually made this a live TOC using the table of contents feature right within InDesign. So if I take a look here at the table of contents, you can see that I've already set up a, a table of contents that's based on paragraph styles. And that's, that's going to be honored when we get into cloud authoring. The second thing I did is I made all of my hyperlinks active. And you should know that it's a, a very easy process. It's a very easy command to do within InDesign. You just go up to type in the menu. And we can go down to hyperlinks and cross-references, and I use the convert URLs to hyperlinks command to actually populate and make me all of these hyperlinks. So just a couple of extra steps I did. I then made it into a PDF. You can then see here's the PDF. Um, you can tell that the TOC is active because as I hover over it, you can see that I get the little hand. It brings me in here. I can also see that these hyperlinks are also active. All right, so a little bit of work on the back end. What this final product is going to look like. So before I even get into you know, how we're going to add all this stuff within cloud authoring, it's interesting to see, and here this is just the Aquafatis viewer within the iOS simulator, and uh, this is about uh, what we're about to build right here. Um, if you've never seen uh, our a PDF solution or, or kind of our easy way into to digital publishing solution, uh, this is it. The first thing that we do is that if the device is held vertically, you see one page at a time. When the device is held horizontally, you see spreads. So this automatically takes care of that dual orientation uh, function. Now, what this is very nice because now you know, you've kind of got this different action of single page and, and spreads. But this, uh, this is really where our guided reading um, functionality really uh, comes into play. So that, meaning that this is great that you can view it as a spread, but 
it's not necessarily going to be that readable when it's held like this, right? So you want, first of all, for people to be able to zoom in, which you can see is, is possible here. The second thing is that guided reading has been added. So if you've never seen it, this is guided reading. You double click, and at the bottom you get these arrows uh, to control the flow or where you're going next in the document. And as I hit the right arrow, you can see that it literally guides me through the reading process. And there it goes on to, onto the next page, and I can scroll down, and I just keep hitting this arrow. And if I want to come out of it, I just double click. So again, this was all made within cloud authoring. This is our guided reading. Just so you can see, here's the live uh, TOC here. Um, and here's a hyperlink. This again was done within InDesign. I can close that. It's going to take me right back to this content. So let me show you how to build this really quickly. So back over to Safari. And the first thing you do is you create a project. So you need to get a login for cloud authoring. So you can use your Aquafatis login. And you add a project. And the first thing I want you to do is select your files. So we're going to use PDFs for this one. I just have a kind of a little PDF that I created uh, just so that we could see how this works. There are two buttons at the bottom. You'll notice that upload and append is grayed out, um, and upload and replace is the only one that's active here. So let's start with the one on the left. Upload and replace, and before you even go ahead and click this button, you can pick a reading uh, page analysis intent. So if you want that guided reading, which is also goes by the name of smart reading, you can apply it here. This will automatically try to apply to each text frame that guided reading effect. If you don't want guided reading, you just want to enable zooming, you can also do that as well. And then you just click on upload and replace. Now this upload and append button, just to clarify what that is, is that if you had uploaded a PDF, but then you wanted to switch out the cover, let's say, you can upload and append just the cover, and then delete the first cover, page one, and you can drag, let's say, the true cover, the new one you uploaded, into the correct position. So that's what append means. Append means adding, of course. Once that's done, you click on next step. I'm just going to name this documentation two. There we go. Um, if you want to make preview pages, this is preview pages really act as um, within an app, let's say you're selling content for $4.99, but you wanted to have a few preview pages, um, so you actually could have a preview button before someone buys it. We, we also support that. So we could actually make a small preview for you as well, and you can define the number of pages there. The reading, whether it's left to right or right to left, Everything on the right, you don't have to worry about if we're just talking about apps. This is for making EPUBs. And then you just click on Save and Next. And this is going to process the document. It's going to get it ready. It's going to upload it. It's going to apply, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to apply the guided reading effect, make the hyperlinks active, and actually make that a digital uh, document. And just for the sake of time here, we're going to go to the one that I've already uploaded. We're going to shift gears. Okay. So over to InDesign. So once that, once cloud authoring, we'll get back to that in a second. But for right now, that same sort of thing that we just saw that we could do through cloud authoring can also be done, again, within 15 minutes within InDesign. So let me even show you what I've made through InDesign. I come out of here. Go into this save. And this is just a quick... Uh, one I threw together this morning where you got same thing, it's that it's still based the same sort of a PDF really is just like what we saw through cloud authoring. The name is a little misleading I think and that should be cleared up uh, right away for InDesign. So again we're making these through InDesign with InDesign pages not with PDFs um, and really the great part is that we don't have to change any page sizes, anything. You know when you talk about 
getting into getting into digital publishing, the very first things you talk about is, okay, we've got all these things for print, maybe designed for letter or a little shorter, and now we need to bring them into 1024 by 768, and that's a lot of work, you know. So, and never mind that. So, if you have to, first of all, you bring all this content into a, actually a bigger um, document, which is 1024 by 768, and there's a lot of rework that goes on. So to take that out of the equation for the publisher is really what we've we've aimed at. Um, again, this you know if I flip over to the second page, it's the same thing where you've got single pages vertically, and you've got spread horizontally. We still have an active uh, TOC. We've got active links, and in fact, this is a link to a video. To bring us back to the page. So a lot of the same things that we could do with cloud authoring, but again, a very easy way to enter into digital publishing with a PDF. Oh, look, we're back here. Are we? No, we'll wait on that. Okay. So again, we'll get back to cloud authoring. So what did I do to this document? So I'm going to walk you through the whole process here in InDesign. Here in InDesign, uh, I'm going to make a new project, and I'll just call this Webinar 2, and I'll change this to a PDF. Down at the bottom, I don't have to change any of this. I am actually going to design this for an iPad, and I click OK. Next, you're going to import your InDesign file, and here's the one I want. And the InDesign InDesign file is imported. Here it is. Now, how do you add all these things? So right now, literally, we could process this, and it could be ready for uh, digital publishing. But if we wanted to just add a few things, so let's start with the guided reading effect, just to show you how easy it is to add that. Okay, the guided reading effect. If you use it in the past, it's actually a lot easier now. Um, Literally, all you have to do is have nothing selected, and you go to the interactivity panel, and you click on customize smart reading. You add a smart reading effect, and you click on this little arrow, and then there's this little icon here, which just looks like dotted lines and a little um, eyedropper, and it's literally telling you, just go through and select them in order. Uh, for your guided reading effect, and once you're you're done, just click done. So I'm going to actually hide the panel for a minute, and I'm just going to run through and click on each one of these text frames in order. And we don't have to do them all, but that's what you would do. You just run through, literally just run through the document. This may take you a minute, minute and a half, uh, depending on how long the document is. Once you're done, you just come back here, click done. You can see that all of those frames have been collected uh, for this smart reading effect. Again, uh, for hyperlinks, you can use under the type menu, hyperlinks and cross-references, convert URLs to hyperlinks. So we do support any links that are made within the hyper native hyperlinks panel within InDesign. Um, and then from there, what else would you like to do? If you wanted to have images that go full screen, let's take a look at an image. Right here. All right, so let's say on this page I have this diagram, but I want someone to be able to double click it and it's gonna go full screen. It's really this easy. I'd go over to the Aid Interactivity panel and check. In fact, let's do it from the beginning here. I'd click on Picture and just check Enable Full Screen. So now, even at this point, you could run through the entire document, and whatever image you wanted to go full screen, that would be what you, that's all you have to do. To further enhance the document, you could add a slideshow or maybe even a movie for a pop up. Uh, so let me show you that. Here's a slideshow. Uh, it's actually just an image on the page, but let's say I wanted to make this into a slideshow. 
I will just go to the Aven or Activity panel, click on Slideshow. I'm going to create this as a simple slideshow on the cover, which just changes from page to page. I'm going to add all of my slideshow files. And I just want this to automatically turn. So it's nothing big here, but I'm just going to enable the animation so that every three seconds it changes. And I can also enable full screen if I want. So if someone was to double click this slideshow, it would automatically be open in full screen. Okay. Um, you will notice on some of these, uh, they have links like get it now or visit this page. So even for individual slides, I could put actions. So if I need to make um, a tap action, so you can even make scroll actions, I can click on create. So I could say tell the reader to execute, go to web, and I could even put in a web address there. So it's, it's kind of endless with, you know, the possibilities here. Very easy to do. All right, and then finally, let's do a pop-up. So we just want to have a pop-up that if you click it, it's going to open up a video in full screen. So this is actually the, uh, the Aquafatis documentation, and below this frame that I've made with just the rectangle frame tool in InDesign, uh, it says click here to, to watch a video of the installation process. So again, I go over to the interactivity panel. This is going to be a button. It's a tap action where you tell the reader to show a pop-up. For the pop-up type, I'm going to make it full screen. And then I edit the pop-up. You can see there's many different pop-ups you can choose from, from a PDF file uh, to a slideshow to HTML. I'm going to choose movie. I'm going to pick the file, which is an MP4. And I'm going to set it to autoplay and full screen. And that's it. And all of, that's all, all the interactivities uh, that I showed you prior that I'd put on this. Once that's done, you simply just save the page. Notice the asterisk goes away. You go over to the project manager panel, and you generate it. So while that's generating, let's take another look here at what I made prior. And again, this is the, the InDesign version. So all the way back here, you can see the slideshow. Every three seconds, it changes. We've already seen that the TOC is active. We can click to watch a movie, which will automatically come up in full screen. We have the guided reading effect. Right here, there's guided reading. And again, I'm guided through the reading process. So very easy to do. All right, so let's go take a look, just to circle back here. Here's cloud authoring. And I know we kind of paused here for a minute, so let's take this back up. Um, all we had done is just we uploaded a document. Okay. Once I go into the export window here, you can see all the different things that we could actually export this to. So we, you know, at a different time we could talk about all the EPUB things that you could do. But for now, you know, again, we're really focused on putting this within an app. The first thing is, is that you need to assign a license. You can see that right here, like this is in demo mode. So once you buy licenses from us, you can actually assign it to this project you're working on. If you don't have a license, you're only going to be able to use or make a preview of five pages, um, which means that you could still test this out. Um, then we have tools for this project. So much like what we can do in InDesign, again, this is our browser-based solution, and you could do pretty much this exactly what you can do in InDesign. It, there's some limitations, but it's soon to be not so many limitations. The first thing is we have a crop tool. Um, if you had to crop the pages, so let's say you got the PDFs, but they still had registration marks on them. You could draw a crop out, and then you could even apply that same crop to every single page. Very easy to do. We have an order tool. Um, the order tool, again, that goes hand-in-hand -hand with that append function. 
So if you're going to add a new page, it'll show up at the end. So if I was to add a, a one-page PDF, which means I could delete page one and then drag that other page in the correct order. Probably the most important and our newest feature is really um, the enrichment tool here within cloud authoring. So with the enrichment tool, remember back to what I showed you in InDesign when we saw how uh, I made it a the TOC, an actual InDesign TOC, which, which actually is creating PDF bookmarks. Um, I ran the hyperlink function and also when we uploaded it, I chose go ahead and try to add guided reading for me. A um, couple things I can see here is that all of these in pink, uh, these are actually buttons. They're buttons that are set, set to tell the reader to go to page. So without doing anything, just because I had already set this up in InDesign, all of these go to pages already work. Um, here, we've got a hyperlink. And again, it's it's already set up because it was designed in InDesign. Now you can massage all of this as much as you want. You can come in here and, and fix the guided reading. So if you want it to be more narrow, or all of these boxes can be can be fixed. Uh, this is the guided reading effect that automatically put on it. And you can see here's guided reading, and then we've got hyperlinks in between and it goes on. This actually starts a new guided reading. That's why the, the box color has changed. We've got some hyperlinks in here. Now the best part, if you remember what I did back when I was in uh, InDesign, you can now do that within cloud authoring as well. So let's say you did want to add a slideshow right here. Uh, you could just simply click on add an enrichment to your box and these are all the enrichments that are now supported through cloud offering. So if I go down to slideshow, there it is. Um, I can browse for images and again pick those three just like I did before. And the same things that I can do in InDesign uh, as far as assigning um, actions on each different slide that can all be done right in here. I can make this slideshow go full screen. You can notice there it is right on the page. So just like we design it in InDesign but now through this browser base window. And even if I wanted to make that button that opened a pop-up, come on down to that page and I could make another box here. Uh, probably first delete this one. That's probably a good idea. There we go. So I can delete the current link and actually make a new one. So I'm going to make a frame, add an enrichment, which is a button. Click on the gear, tell the reader to show a pop-up. And the clock, it's exactly how it is in InDesign. I'm going to say go full screen, pick the enrichment of video. I'm going to say full screen only and autoplay. The file source will be an asset. You can see you could also put that in as a URL. So you could have a YouTube uh, video instead. It'll upload this. And so the video would also show in there. So the same way that you can actually set things up within minutes, within, in, within InDesign, you can do right within cloud authoring as well. We'll just close this out and we'll jump over here. Once this is all set up, you save it. Then you go over to the export window. I'm actually not going to save this for the sake of time. Export. That's because that movie's still being uploaded. Try that again. Okay, so let me go over to the export window and you go and grab um, your file. So first you build it and then you download the Zave. And then it's very easy once you get that Zave to send it out to people so that they can test it. Uh, right now, now I'm just using the iOS simulator but just to even show you how I would send it from here to there. First I would download the file, 
the zave file. It would end up in my downloads folder. And then within the simulator, I can send it directly to the simulator by knowing this um, URL of what, what the simulator's URL is. Um, I then type that same URL into a browser window, and I can pick that ZAVE file, which is right here, and I can send it directly from here to the iOS simulator or to any device. So that same workflow works on any device. That if you have um, the Aquafata's viewer loaded on the iPad or any Android device or Amazon device, you would click on the gear, you would get this URL, put it into a browser window, pick the file, and send it, and it's going to send that file right into the iOS simulator. And again, there's the file. It's a little bit easier through InDesign because through InDesign, once you've actually processed it, you can click on test, which will automatically send this file directly from InDesign to whatever device is running on the same wireless network that has the Aquafotis Viewer launched. And so if I had my iPad and my iPhone running with Aquafotis Viewer, I would also see those in the list. And it's very easy to just send directly from InDesign over to the Aquafotis Viewer. And there we go. So that is the basic 15-minute uh, workflow for each one. It's very easy to just, you know, talking about cloud authoring, to maybe do a little work in, in uh, InDesign beforehand. Again, not mandatory, because what we've just seen is we can make all of the, those hyperlinks, buttons, uh, TOC, go to pages. They can all be done right within cloud authoring. But to save a little time, it is a little easier if you, can, if you have the InDesign document. You make the PDF, you upload it to cloud authoring, you can add all the enrichments you want, download Zaves, review them. Once you're done, then you're ready to publish that Zave into your app. And it's the same deal with uh, InDesign. With our very easy entry point of Aave PDF, um, you've got all of our tools within InDesign to add guided reading, movies, slideshows, uh, to quickly turn your print document into a digital publication. And I think that was less than 15 minutes each if you put them both together and at the time we started. So again, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Rob Underwood, and Dave, I'm going to pass it back to you. Yeah, folks, uh, thanks a lot, Rob. Fantastic stuff. And uh, I want to thank everybody for hanging on uh, through some of those technical difficulties. We are tool makers for uh, digital uh, publishing products and not webinar software, uh, which is clearly <laughs> evident here. Um, if anybody has any follow-up questions for us uh, that wasn't answered in the chat, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dave at Um what we do is we provide the most flexible set of tools for those looking to design for um, either repurposing your print content or design f straight for mobile and we'd be happy to walk you through any uh, needed clarifications or further functionality at request. Thanks for taking the time and uh, hope to speak to you again soon.